Hey everyone, Victor here. So with um, our new plugin, we're trying to make it easy to transition from the old one to the new one um, while still letting you have you know access to all the features in our new plugin. So we did build an exporting um, function. Uh, so I wanted to demo it a bit so you understand how it's supposed to work and little weird bits. And if you run into any problems, you can get in touch with us and let us know um, what you wish would work or what isn't working and all that good stuff. Um, so the first thing is here, we still have our old plugin installed, WP Mapbox GLJS Maps. And if I pop over and let's say I have this map here, this test export map, which you can see loads and there's a bunch of markers here um, and a polygon and a line. Um, now what this is not going to pull in all the other um, the controls or the styles that you've added. What it's mainly about is getting the features on there. You can fairly easily add back most of these things in the new plugin, but remaking each one of these points, polygons or lines, is kind of a hassle. So that's what we wanted to uh, speed up for you. So in the old plugin, um, if you go to import export, you'll see there's this button export current map feature. So you're going to hit that. Um, and that's going to download a GeoJSON there to your um, to your computer there in your downloads folder or whatever. And that's basically got all these with some of their styling information. So now we're going to go back to plugins and we're going to disable, um, deactivate WP Mapbox Maps. Now, importantly, we're not going to delete it just yet. Um, that's because sometimes the images you might use are still in this folder and we need to import them into the new one. Uh, so don't yet delete this and then we'll uh, install and activate Mapster WP Maps. So we have our new one and here we are with our, our maps. Um, oh, that was my little test. I'll delete that and re-add it. So we're going to be going to, first of all, categories, because in this case, um, you know, one of the things that might be annoying is when we import each of those, we have to go into our map and then we'd have to manually um, come in here to features and select each one of them. And if you have like hundreds of locations or something, that could be really quite a pain. So we're gonna add a category. You can see I've added one called import here. So you can just call it whatever you need um, and just add that category. And then when we actually do our import, we're gonna tag each feature with that category so we can later add it really easily. So if I come over here or from WPGLJS Maps, and uh, hopefully it's all going to work nicely. So we drag our file that we uh, downloaded into here and we're going to select the import category and then we're going to press import and we should get a nice little message saying eight features imported. Okay, great. So now if we go over um, to our locations, we'll see that there are six markers added, one line and one, poly, uh, one polygon. That's called fill one. Um, and now if we head into our maps and let's try adding those into a new map. So we'll add new, we'll call it test import map. Okay. And then we go to features here. And since we added them by category, I mean, we could search through and add them one by one, but you know, if you want to change your map or we can just go here and click the import button. Um, and there we go. All the markers are added right into here. They should be pretty much the same. Um, and they come with the pop-ups as well attached. And then you can um, modify your different map setups to make sure it's just the way you want it. So let's publish that and just take a quick look to make sure it's working. So we pop that open in a new window. And here's our test import map centers. And if we click, we can see the description. Now, of course, the pop-up's a little wonky because of the, um, the theme here. So I might have to overwrite that a little. That'll depend on your theme. But this is the default pop-up that is used. Um, just so you know, it's the default one um, here from pop-up templates. So you can always add a new one if you want um, and set it in the various locations or lines and polygons file. So hopefully that makes clear some of the intricacies of uploading, um, exporting and importing to the new plugin. So hopefully uh, it goes well for you and just get in touch if it doesn't. Thank you so much.